All right, everybody, today we're going to be doing connect percent and proportion. I'm going to do all the odd ones, so let's start with number seven. Uh, starting at number seven, so the rabbit population in a certain area is 200. That's what it is currently, 200% uh, of last year's population. There is 1,100 uh, rabbits this year. That means it is this year. So where this is equal to, uh, it has to be what it is, and it is 200. Uh, how many were there last year? Well, it had to be 100% last year. Uh, so now we can go ahead and cross multiply. But before we do that, remember these are percents that we're dealing with over here. We gotta take that decimal and move it over two spots. And that's gonna leave us two and one. So now uh, when we cross multiply, you know, we're taking the number here, multiplying it to the number here. And we're taking the number here and multiply it to the number here. And then they're going to put them equal to each other and solve. So if I were to go ahead and solve this one, I would say 2 times W has to equal 1,100 times 1. This is pretty easy. It's going to anything times one is itself. So I'm just going to erase this off. There's no use in even having it there. But now I know I have to get two away from W. So I will divide two away. Whatever I divide from one side to the other. That means W is going to be uh, 5,500. Or excuse me, 550. What was I thinking? 550. So that means there were 550 rabbits last year. All right, let's move on to number nine. Number nine says a survey was given to people who owned a certain type of car. What percent of the people surveyed were completely satisfied with the car? Well, it says here completely satisfied is the light blue box, which is 1,100. Uh, so they're saying we have to find out how much that is of the whole before we can find out what percent we're dealing with. So let's first begin by finding out how much the total is here. We've got 1,100 representing the light blue, completely satisfied. We've got 740 representing somewhat satisfied, and we've got uh, 160 representing not satisfied, but those are the total amount of people that were asked. So now once we go ahead and uh, we solve this, we realize there's 2,000 altogether. So uh, now we know that the amount that is satisfied, completely satisfied, was 1,100 uh, over 2,000. And now we have to realize if we're going to find that percent uh, that was completely satisfied, we have to realize that 2,000 represents 100% of all the people. Uh, but And we also have to remember since it's a percent, we're going to move that decimal over twice. And now we've got, uh, let's see, it looks like 1,100 Uh, is going to be equal to uh, two a thousand x. So now we have to divide two thousand away. Whatever I divide from one side, I divide from the other. And now I go to my calculator, and I see that I've got. The equation 1,100 uh, divided by 2,000. And that's 0.55. And we know to turn that into a percent, and that's what they're asking for. We've got to move that decimal over twice, and that's going to equal 55%.
All right, let's move on to number uh, 11. It says a restaurant customer left a $3.50 as a tip. The tax on the meal was 7%, and the tip was 20% of the cost, including the tax. Okay. What piece of information is not needed to compute the bill after tax and tip? Which is not needed uh, to complete this bill? Well, they, they gave us uh, customer left a $3.50 tip. Uh, says what piece of information is not needed to compute the bill afterwards. Well, we need to know uh, how much they left, let's see, the tax on the meal was 7% and the tip was 20% of the cost, including the tax. If they want to know what piece of the information is not needed to complete the bill after tax and tip. Let's see, I would say uh, that they don't need to really know so in reading this, we see that we got a re the restaurant customer left 350 as a tip. The tax on the meal was 7%. The tip was 20% of the cost. What piece of the information is not needed? Well, uh, not need to compute the bill after the tax and tip. Well, this, the tip was 20% of the cost, including tax. So I don't think I'm gonna need uh, the tax on the meal at all. So the, uh, let's see, the 7% tax. And next it says, what was the total bill? If I was to do this, I'd have to realize that uh, $3.50 represents how much I left for the tip. That was 20% uh, out of 100%. We're trying to find uh, what was uh, the total bill. This was the tax of the bill. So uh, we're going to cross multiply and that's going to give us, uh, remember we have to move our decimal over two spaces. That's going to give us uh, 0.2x going to be equal to, uh, let's see, 3.5. So now we have to divide uh, 3.50 by 0 0.2. 3.5 uh, 0 divided by 0.2 gives me 1750. So I know after that I divide 0.2 away to get x by itself. I know it's going to be x equals 1750. But remember, they want to know what was the total bill, including what we left there, which was $3.50. So we're going to have to add 350 on here. And that's going to leave us, uh, let's see, about 21 bucks. Yep, 21 bucks. Uh, 17 plus 3 is 20, and 50 and 50 is 1, 21. Uh, so that's number 11. And now we're going to move on to, uh, let's see, I guess I should put over here $21. For the final answer. Now we're off to number 13. Uh, number 13 says, Marna thinks that about 35% of her mail is junk. She gets about twice as much regular mail as junk mail. Is she correct? Okay. She gets about twice as much regular mail as junk mail. Is she correct in thinking that's about 35% of her mail or is junk? 
Well, first of all, 35% has got to be out of 100%. And now they're saying she gets twice as much regular mail as junk mail. Okay, uh, I think said about 35% is junk mail. And so she gets about twice as much regular mail as junk mail. So uh, her regular mail, remember the 35% is her mail that is junk mail. So on the bottom has to be her regular mail. She gets about twice as much regular mail so this would be uh let's see twice as much so uh two times as much and now we've got our equation i do see one thing here that i have to go ahead and address because though it does say she gets about twice as much regular mail as junk mail. Um, well, this is 100% here means 100% of her mail, which means we'd have to take uh, the two mails that she gets that are not junk mail and add them to the one that she does have to get the total amount. So in actuality, this is going to be uh, three down here. This one out of three is junk mail. And she said 35% of her mail is junk mail. So this, this kind of, I think this makes more sense. Um, so if I was to do this, is 35% close to one third percent? Because uh, we'll want to see if the statement is true. Well, one third percent it's going to be really equal to about uh, 33 uh, percent. I can check that my calculator one divided by three. And that gives me a 0.33, which would be 33 um, percent. So it's 35 percent because they're saying she thinks that about 35 percent of her mail is junk mail. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, that's, I would say 35 is pretty close to 33. Uh, these are percent signs. So uh, is she correct? I would say yes. And my explanation would be that 35% is very close to 33%. All right, let's go to number 15. Well, number 15 is saying that a school year has four quarters, or percent of a school year is seven quarters. Um, okay. Well, if a school year has four quarters, and we know this has got to be more than a school year because uh, it's seven, um, it has to be more than four, so it'd be seven over four, not four over seven. Uh, and then, well, every fraction is a division problem. Let's give this a shot. Um, we've got um, 7 divided by 4 gives me 1.75. And then we have to move our decimal over two spots because they're saying turning it into a percent. 1.75. After we move that decimal over two spots, is going to become... 175%. And uh, see, number 16, we're on number 17, higher order thinking. Uh, Stefan sells Jenna bicycle for $114 and a helmet for $18. Okay. Uh, the total cost for Jen is 120% what Stefan spent originally to buy the bike and the helmet. How much did Stefan spend originally? How much money did he make by selling the bicycle and the helmet to Jen? Okay, well, let's set this up like we usually do. Um, we know, first of all, we got to get the total price that was spent on the helmet and the bike, which is 114 plus 18. 
and that's going to give us uh, 132. So um, Jim bought the bike for 132 dollars, and he bought it. Uh, the total cost for Jim is 120 percent, so that equals 120 percent. Now Stefan, uh, he bought it for 100 percent. And they want to know what was the cost at 100%. So we're going to cross multiply again. And if we do this, we see that we have, uh, well, let's not forget to move those decimal spots over because we're talking about percents over here. And they're not asking us what the percent is this time. We need to find numbers. So now that I know that, uh, this is really 132 times one. Uh, it's gonna be equal to 1.2 X. That means I gotta divide 1.2 away. Of course, whatever I divide from one side, I divide from the other. I really don't have to multiply this to one because I already know but it's going to give me 132 regardless. And now I had to take uh, 132 and divide it by 1.2. If I do that, I see that 132 divided by 1.2 gives me 110. So X has to equal 110, which means uh, the original cost uh, how much does Stefan spend originally? $110 is what he spent originally. And uh, how much did he make? Well, if if uh, Jen bought everything for $132 and Stefan bought it for $110, that is a total of $22 that Stefan made off of the deal. And I believe that's the last question. Uh, I'm done for the night. Good luck on the ones you have to do and see you tomorrow.